that you know some guys really be bums and that and was bum nigga shit. i'm only saying that because this one time i went on a date and i was really excited for it um and he actually says okay well i don't have like i don't really want to like pay for a cab or whatever to get to where we need to go so we're gonna have to take the bus and i'm like Yo. okay at this point i've already stopped taking the bus for a couple of years now so it's just like all right okay cool we're gonna take the bus he has no bus pass we have to ask to get on the bus i said what uh, this is crazy and i was I- nigga you can't one say let's get on the bus and then two nigga ask for a bus ride my nigga you tripping you ain't get no cat at the end of the night my boy I was What's poppin' YouTube? We back with another reaction video, you dig. Before we get started, we gotta talk about the hundred dollar giveaway we doing. Uh we're giving away money on Cash App or Venmo or PayPal or whatever you got. I'm gonna say hundred dollars. And the way you get the hundred dollars is we get the three hundred and fifty subscribers, so you need to be watching these videos to know when we're gonna get the three hundred and fifty subscribers, because I will announce it in the video. And when we get to 350 subscribers, I will say, okay, we had 350. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Make sure you, you to enter the, to be entered in the com- competition, you have to be subscribed for one. You have to have your notification bells on for two. And you have to comment on the video, whatever name you got, email address to, for you to get the money. You had those three things are a must. If you're not, you're not, I'm not, you're not getting entered. And the way it's going to work is when we get to that video, it's going to go from first person who comment. They're going to be number one, second, third, fourth, fifth. I'm going to give you a number. I will, I will comment down your number. That way you know what number you are. And that way there's no confusion on what number people are. And once that happens, yeah. Whoever, um, uh, I'm gonna do a number, random number simulator, and whatever number it pops up, they're gonna get a hundred dollars. But yeah, uh, but enough of that. We're gonna get right to the video. This is shit you date while broke. Let's go. First of all, I think if you broke, you know you broke. Real talk, like you not walk around making sixty. You know, and you have X responsibilities, and, and thinking you got money. Let, let's all, let's 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 be real about this. Like to date and to court a woman and to spend time with a woman, it costs. We're not saying that her time costs, but it costs. It costs to go have a drink. It costs to go have dinner. It costs to go yes, to a does. museum. You know, you got a little cheap date on some Boy, yes, some, it does. some happy hour margaritas. You gonna spend about a good fifty? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, Margaret. I mean, well, more than that, fifty dollars. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just oh, getting some was, random okay. happy hour number out there. I but actually I'm just, shouldn't have said nothing. My bad. It, it, it costs. That's the point I'm making is that it costs. So, like, if your money isn't right and you can't like just easily go out and spend the money that it costs a quarter woman to date a woman, that means you're probably too broke to be dating. If 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 if, 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 if spending a little fifty dollars, a little hundred, a little five hundred, whatever it is. If, if it's if it's an issue to spend it, then that's how you know you're broke. I'm gonna, be, wait, but being broke is fine. I just want to. Well, I mean, that don't necessarily mean you broke. You might. I mean, oh, I, I don't think that mean you broke. I just think I don't know. I don't think that mean you broke. I just think nigga, you cheap. You might you might be cheap. Why the nigga can't be cheap? Why it's always gotta be the worst? The nigga is broke. Maybe the nigga is cheap. And maybe the nigga don't feel like spending that much money on somebody he don't know if they worth it. But first dates, you gotta kind of put your best foot for. I mean, not take her to, not take her to the most expensive restaurant, but you know, middle middle of the road restaurant. Feel me? You gotta pay a little. Feel me? A little something. Feel me? But you can't be out there not trying to spend no money on the first date because that's gonna cost every time. It's gonna cost, and that don't mean the nigga broke. Say that real quick. But she I is right at though. One point. Except for saying I broke. Was, I was one hundred percent broke at one point. Thank yeah. God my dad let me move home and he paid my bills. But I was broke at one point. Oh. I think a, it would be in a man's best oh. interest. Oh, your daddy let you move home and paid your bills. Oh, 
got it. So you had a safety net. Some people don't got safety nets. And if a nigga was to do that, y'all be, oh, you broke ass nigga. You live with your parents, this, this, and that. Oh, she full of shit. Chris, if he doesn't have his money together or if he doesn't have his money in a place to where spending the money it takes to court, if you don't have that extra little money, then you probably shouldn't date. So what they gonna do? She right. If they, if sit at home and beat your meat. Worry no, about yourself and how to get your money. I don't know about. I don't That's know about sit at home. Money. I don't know about sit home beating your meat. You could have to be doing something productive. Uh, you could be learning a skill. You could be reading books on how to get a skill. You could be doing something that's gonna benefit you to where when it does come to time for you to court and stuff like that, you can do that type of stuff. And when you're younger, when you're younger, like maybe your early, your late teens or something, little Applebee's date, feel me? Little Olive Garden, little something cheap. See, y'all gotta, y'all gotta learn how to finesse the cheap stuff. They gotta learn how to do stuff for free that look good, like take her on a picnic. Like there's other ways to do it without having to spend hundreds of dollars on dates and shit, like picnics, movies, Applebee's, uh, Olive Garden, Chili's, a little something like a walk in the park, a museum. That stuff ain't that expensive, feel me? And when you're young, that stuff don't matter. It start mattering as you get older, and you start dealing with more women that have been through stuff and that have experienced stuff and that got a little bit more experience. They care more about that stuff. But not when you're young, like a little movie trip, that's that's cool. You little what a little forty dollars, little forty dollars, twenty dollars, just depend on how old you is. Little that is cool. You know what I'm saying? That date should cost you at the most. You know what I'm saying? If you're still living with your parents, hopefully they got a car. Get you there, meet, tell her, meet you there, you know. They understand you ain't got a whip, you ain't got a whip. Meet me there, okay, boom. Free or a little Uber, $10, boom. What's that, Um, or $10. Movie tickets for both of y'all, say that's $40. You know what I'm saying? That's $50 right there. Maybe she wants some, might want some snacks or something. 60 bucks, a little cheap 60 bucks, feel me? Or... Little chilies, little Applebee's, two for 20. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to finesse the finesse, feel me? But if you don't know how to finesse the finesse, you know what I'm saying? You, you ain't called broke. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that don't mean you broke. You just be. But she got to move in with her parents, so fuck she talking about. You need to worry about. Pain. That's, That's really what you, wanna, what you want to worry about, because I'm going to have to agree with Aaron. I'm not going to put a mana. I'm not going to put an actual number on what it means for a guy to be broke because I can't tell you how much money you're making is not enough because I probably don't exactly I, I probably am not making as much as I feel like you should be making to to make that judgment yeah to make that judgment to be considered not broke but what makes you broke is doing bum nigga shit so I wouldn't really call nobody broke but I really do be saying that you know, some guys really be bums. And, and was bum nigga shit? I'm only saying that because this one time I went on a date and I was really excited for it. Um, and he actually says, OK, well, I don't have like I don't really want to like pay for a cab or whatever to get to where we need to go. So we're going to have to take the bus. And I'm like, Yo. OK, at this point, I've already stopped taking the bus for a couple of years now. So it's just like. All right. Okay, cool. We're going to take the bus. He has no bus pass. We have to ask to get on the bus. I said, what? Uh, this is crazy. And I was... I nigga, you can't, one, say, let's get on the bus. And then, two, nigga, ask for a bus ride? My nigga, you tripping. You ain't get no cat at the end of the night, my boy. I was definitely younger at this, at this point. I was a teenager. Maybe, like, 18, 19. Um... So I definitely a bus day cool at that age. A bus day, but then hey, you gotta at least be able to pay for the bus. You gotta at least at the bare minimum, you have to at least be able to pay for the transportation. And like one of my first dates ever, did not want to come out of pocket. I really wanted to see how this guy was gonna move. And so we get to the restaurant, and after the meal, he says. Oh, you bought your debit card with you, right? Because I don't have enough money. 
I don't have enough money to pay for Even if they're trying to finesse the He was the part of the nigga was and I'm just like, have it. Yeah because honestly Of course I got my I, Of course I got my money Please. on me bro, if, you, if you ain't got the money to do the shit Just don't go bro it's, it's better. Save your money till you got enough money You know what I'm saying just, You know you talk to her on the phone till you get the money You know what I'm saying A few weeks what Scratch up a little Wounty wound Feel me what's, what's that about a bus What Two two dollar bus ride, three dollar bus ride, or sneak on the back. I mean, you could have snuck on the back instead of asking. What two three dollar bus ride? Where y'all at? Whatever you going, to maybe thirty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Thirty three dollars. And you said, you know, niggas see niggas be trying to do shit before they're ready, bro. Just you could have just talked to her on the phone, feel me, till y'all got comfortable, till you got the money, feel me, and then you could have did it. But nigga want to rush shit and go on a date before he ready. I paid half because he said he couldn't pay for the whole bill. Does, that, check this out, my nigga. Nigga, if you're going to take a girl on a date, you know what I'm saying? Especially the first date. Especially the first date. You got to pay. Straight up. You got to pay. That's not no sim shit. That's not no sucker shit. That's not no, that's not no tricking shit. That's just how it go. As a man, the first date, you pay regardless. Or maybe he just didn't done. want to pay for the whole bill because done. that would have put him out of pocket. But it's just like after that, it was like, all right, so now I see how this nigga is. And it's just like, I'm not really going to play you for not having money, but you really took me out on a date knowing you did not have enough money to make this a great date. Like, what did you think that I was going to think of you after this? Right. At that point, he wasted his time and his money right? because he was neither going to get the girl or nor would he be able to recoup the time. Exactly. So I, I just, I, I yeah, also do agree. I feel like you shouldn't be like, dating. I, you should not be dating if this is how you're going to be moving. Time. And I'm not saying that time. every broke guy is going to be moving this way. Maybe be more discreet about your brokenness. Right. Yeah, <laughs> finesse it. <laughs> finesse the brokenness. When, when finesse you the gave, uh, um, dollar amount, I actually said that that person is broke based upon Truly, where we live at. If you make that style of money and you live in New York City, you're not really doing nothing if you're trying to live of a standard. That's why I said that. You could take $60,000 and you could go to Baltimore, Maryland, and you could get a nice little apartment, and, and you could do some things, and they would be able to take you to dinner two times a week, but he would be a fucking professional dude, right? But we had a show that we had a survey on the show that women don't like professional dudes. They don't like dudes that, yo, we did a survey. Listen, we're talking about younger people sometime of your Yeah, you know let them come talk. That they took a survey. They don't want a dude that's a professional dude that has to take vacations and plan their life around. They want a dude that's fake getting money, be, be there. And you know what the problem with that is? Like, it's okay. Shout out to my niggas that's getting it out the mud. Shout out to my niggas that's getting it, you know what I'm saying? But... The problem with that is, what if that's not that? What if that's not how a nigga want to live? What if a nigga making six figures? Feel me? He gotta work to make to get his vacation time. Feel me? And if you can't handle that, something wrong with you. You need to look at yourself. Like why I can't? Like just because nigga, you could be off work, nigga, and you don't, and you got niggas to do that. And niggas don't have that opportunity. Nigga, a lot of niggas don't got that benefit for a bitch to be like, oh. Here, let me let me call it. Hey, what's up? I need this pay. Hey, what's up? I need money for this. Like niggas don't have the opportunity, and that's how a lot of you bitches be going on trips and shit. So stop acting like a nigga with a nine to five, getting it, really getting money. Like six six figures. That's not no chump change. Straight up, that's not no chump change for you to say. Uh, I gotta wait to go on. I don't like niggas. I gotta wait to go on vacation. You're a clown. You fucking bitches are clowns for that shit. When they need them to be there, and when you work now a nine to five, and how is a nigga go? All you bitches that's going on vacation, y'all not make y'all not put. It's hard for y'all to put money on the side, especially if you spend money on all these vacations for your future, for a nice house, for prepare for rainy days, all that shit. Cause y'all spending on vacation, y'all are y'all are lost. Like y'all go on vacation, look on Instagram, y'all spending on this vacation, that vacation. How are you building for your future? That's what a real man and real nigga supposed to do. Nigga supposed to stack his money, build for the future, get benefits. 
start a 401k, invest in stocks. Vacation, that shit cool. That shit is cool. But it's not cool all the fucking time. That shit ain't cool to go on all the time. That shit, you know, get your money. Fuck all that vacation shit. Because all that spending money, at a certain point, you just spending just to spend. Our job, you can't really do that right now. You know what I'm saying? And that's the age that people think right now that we all got a brand, we got a business, that we doing this and we doing that. So women want niggas that just money just appears. It got to just appear there and they have it and be able to take you to where you got to go so you feel really, really comfortable about what's going on. And that's why you got the young niggas being scammers. You got them doing all this stuff for shit to do. Stop trying to press these hoes. Stop like trying to press these females. You go somewhere, I'm expecting Nigga, you to pay for this that. shit. I'm expecting you to do this shit. I'm expecting you to get me some shit because if you don't, you not that guy. Wait, everybody wants to be that guy. I have a question. You just said if you're a man, a woman is expecting X, Y, and Z. I, th I think that poses the question, okay. who pays what? Because from... I don't know anything about this, mm -hmm. but apparently people are going Dutch these days on dates. You I'm know? not saying that. What Dutch. I'm saying is that I've had money for a long time. No, Straight, no, no. no. Before, yes, I did, but I'm date. telling you, yeah, yes, I did, when you were right? You All right, yes, I did. Her, okay, you said work. Okay, when I when I'm saying this is is the fact that. Yes, when we want to do something, the man wants to feel like that they're in power, like we are expected to do certain things, generally. But there does come a time where even myself, who I've had money for a long time, there was a stint of time that I filed bankruptcy, the music business was fucked up, I didn't get a chance to do the things that I wanted to do, and I was fortunate that I had planted seeds with different people, women, People, dudes that I loan money to that they were coming back to me and I could go out and still go to places and do the things that I wanted to do without making me feel like less of a man. That actually helped me to, to build myself up to go back out and go get money again. So I understand that people can be broke and they need to do things, but it's all on the level that we're thinking. It's all on how you expect that you need to be treated. So if I'm treating you well enough, I might earn $60,000. You might think that the nigga on the bus is trash. You're never going to get on the bus with me. So now, am I the man now? Because I'm definitely going to make sure you get to where you got to go, do what you got to do, but I still might just make $60,000. We might be in Baltimore, though. We might be in um, Texas where we can afford to live down, downtown with a one exactly. bedroom, you know, Atlanta for 1200 a little law for something. And now you feeling like a queen, but I still got the same amount of money and I'm technically not a baller. Uh, so I'm broke. I, I was about to say that, you know, it's, it's, it's really relative depending on. Um, that do matter just depending on where you live. You know what I'm saying? $60,000 in Texas, like he said, Atlanta. Some of these places, the middle of the country, where it's not the cost of living is not that much. You got a little change on you, but living in like New York, California, that shit it, it has, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't, you gonna look like a broke nigga. But they gotta put that in perspective. You know what I'm saying? I live, we live in New York, everything is more expensive. You know what I'm saying? So everybody ain't gonna be able to make that 100000 because it's expensive out here. And that shit costs age and the standard of a woman every woman had different standards if some women might be accustomed to certain things right. right and now in their mind they think that forever this is what they a man I, my daddy did this for me so now you have to do x y z which is a good standard to have really in reality yeah, right um and then you got some women who don't need that some women just be like listen i got my money I don't need, I just want a man. I'm tired of all of the men that who got money that I'm dealing with. These niggas is trash, personalities whack, the whole nine yards. Yeah, they give me the nights. I look good on Christmas. I look good on holidays. But inside <coughs> or inside the house is a lot of turmoil. So I don't need a man that actually may, I just need a man that can take care of himself and treat me good. Okay, so, so a broke person is not necessarily a fuckboy. And by that I mean... Like, you can have all the money in the world and wine and dime me, this and that. You can still be a fuckboy. You can still be a whole ass, you know what I'm saying? And that has nothing to do with how much money you make. At the end of the day, like, the amount of money you make is essentially what gives you access. It's what gives you time. So you make X amount of dollars, you have time to take off. You have time to 
go to the store and buy X, Y, and Z. You can afford certain luxuries, but that doesn't that doesn't mean you still aren't a fuck boy. <coughs> All right, let's end that video. I like that video. I'm gonna react to some more of their videos. Um, they all had some good points. You know what I'm saying? The women wasn't too overly. The, the women was cool. Some of these videos, the women be saying some wild shit. Be like, what the fuck is you talking about? You say anything. You just unreasonable. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I like that video. Um, they had some good points. You know what I'm saying? But hey, this is the end of the video. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. It's going to be a playlist right here. A video over there and a video right here and the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Hit one of those buttons. Comment down below what y'all want me to react to next because we out. Peace.